All right, so we have our LTV 1200 travel ventilator, and we're going to use this as a BiPAP. Uh, it's important to know, though, these are not made for that. Okay, they're not very user friendly. They're not very comfortable as a BiPAP. But I'm going to show you a couple things that'll make it more comfortable for your patient. Okay, it's important to know whenever you have a travel ventilator, especially if you're going to use it for uh, BiPAP, you need a test lung. Always have a set it up on a test lung when you're setting the parameters. Okay, so let's get it started. I'm going to turn it on. And we're gonna we're gonna get it. And we're gonna have same. We're gonna go to new patient. We're gonna select. We're gonna scroll to adult, and we're gonna select. And it'll kick on to uh, our ventilator mode. Okay, so this is not what you want to put our patient on. So it's good to have this test lung going. And this is where you make our parameter changes to NPPV. And you'll see that we're gonna select here. We have a volume. It's going into volume mode. So we're gonna we want it at a pressure mode. Okay, so we're gonna go to pressure. Hit it until it changes. Okay, and now see how it's changing to pressure control, things like that. But we want to just from a, a ventilator mode, we want to go down to here, which is a spontaneous mode, NPPV. So we're going to select again and then select again, and now we're in NPPV. See that? And now we have our first parameter to set IPAP. And this will light up and it'll let you adjust there. So let's say that we want to set an IPAP of 15. Okay. IFAP is our inspiratory pressure, inspiratory positive airway pressure to ventilate our patient. Okay, it's going to do the ventilating. And so we're going to hit that and it's going to flip to EPAP. EPAP is the same thing as PEEP uh, and uh, expiratory positive airway pressure just keeps the airways open. And we're going to adjust that and let's say we, we're going to make that five. Okay. Now, so we have our patient dialed in. Now here's the, here's the tricky part about the LTV when it comes to BiPAP. Our, I, our BiPAP settings, it says 15 over five, but those aren't the settings, okay? The settings are 20 over five. Okay, if we go to the PIP, positive air, air pressure, it'll show you the true inspiratory pressure that you're giving our patient, okay? So this 20 over five, that's a little bit high for starting off, okay? Uh, typically, we'll start a patient in the ER 10 over five and titrate up, okay? We're starting at 20 over five. So let's say that we wanna to go to 10 over five. How do we do that? Okay. We have to adjust the pressure support, okay? Because this is this minus this is this, okay? So what are we gonna do if we're gonna do 10 over five? We'll have to take this into consideration and we're gonna to go to five, first word to five, and that'll give us 10 over five, okay? So that's our settings. So it's very tricky, okay? Uh, but look at the PIP, look at this, and you'll see that it says pressure support is uh, the PEEP plus the centimeters of water, and so you have to do the math. Okay, it's a weird additive. Okay, so 10 over 5 is our true uh, BiPAP setting. And a lot of times, is, uh, we have non compliance with our patients on the LTV just because it's set too high, and that's usually why. Because you're going to think that this is actually, if you get your patient uh, on 10 over 5 setting at the hospital, they're actually at 15 over 5, and that's five centimeters of water higher and it could be too much for them okay and too much uh, BiPAP uh, too much inspiratory pressure it's going into their stomach it's burping the mask it's not comfortable okay so you want to make sure that you're using this correctly and it's okay to go lower settings as long as we're getting a good tidal volume as long as we're getting a good tidal volume 500 is plenty for an adult 350 and up if they're doing consistent volumes and their vitals are good go ahead and do that and if you have an excessive leak, I was talking to uh, a medic who had this excessive leak and it just kept beeping. It wasn't even showing him any volumes. Go ahead and dial down that low minute ventilation, okay? Because as long as you know that they're getting adequate tidal volumes, don't worry about this leak, okay? Because that mask will burp, okay? They may not get a good seal. Okay? Like I said, these aren't made for BiPAP, okay? Uh, these are made for ventilators. Okay? So there's that. Make sure, very important, the additive, go to the PIP, it'll give you a good indicator. On the test lung, it's gonna be the most accurate. Once they start wearing this machine, that PIP is gonna be all over the place, okay? But just know that when you're doing a setting, it's, you gotta do the math. Okay, just a little cheat sheet. So this, the first one we did, 10, 15 over five. 15 plus five gave you a 20 over five 
uh, setting. So, what if we did this, 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5 is a 10 over 5 setting. And that's usually pretty good to ventilate uh, most patients, okay? Very important to know. This will uh, save you a lot of headaches. It'll save your patient a lot of headaches, too, okay? So there we go with our LTV for NPPV mode.